Good morning. Great new day. Today is Tuesday. And I just left from Waffle House twice, y'all. I'm so mad because I went and I ordered my food. I ordered it online. And I go to pick it up and I'm sitting there and I see an order on the table bagged up. And I'm looking at the counter and I don't see them making my food. So I asked the guy, I'm like, can you check to see if that's my order? He was like, what's the name? I tell him my name. He look at the order. He's like, no, that's not it. Okay, cool. So I'm looking at the counter, waiting to see if he's making my food. Cause y'all know I used to work at Waffle House. So I know what it looked like when it's marked. Didn't see it. So I'm just like, okay, let me just be patient. Let me just wait. Tell me why I'm sitting there for like 10 minutes. So the manager walk up and she's like, um, I'm like, can you check and make sure that that's not my food? I placed an online order. I tell her my name. She goes and she hands it to me. I said, so he just told me my food. That wasn't my food. And I've been sitting here for 10 minutes. So it's been just sitting there getting cold. I get in the car. I, I low-key check it. Like, I kind of just look to make sure it was the right sandwich. But, and, and I just was trying to get back home to eat. I'm hungry. Y'all, something said, as I'm on my way home, I'm like, I should have made sure there was egg on it. I'm like, but I know they wouldn't forget to put no egg on my sandwich. I got a sausage, egg, and cheese milk. Y'all, tell me why I get home. Tell me why ain't no egg on my sandwich. So, why I just have to drive all the way back up there? She was like, I'm just going to remake the whole thing. Yeah, that's what I wanted you to do. Yeah, I, would you, until I was going to just have you put a piece of egg on this sandwich and I just had to drive all the way back home and back. No, hell no. I want everything remade. Like, I wasn't going to let you just put an egg on my sandwich. Um, So, she was nice. And, you know, she apologized. She said that the guy's in training and he's doing good, but he's not all the way there yet, which is understandable. I'm fine with that. Remade my food. And so, now I'm on my way home. So, update on today. Today, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm still, I said I was going to put finding a the therapist on the back burner because it's getting frustrating because either they don't take my insurance or either, um, I can't find an African woman, I'm African American woman that I'm looking for an older woman. Um, or they're not accepting new patients. This is what I keep running into. So I think what I'm going to do is just call the number on the black, on the back of my card. Cause I know they'll be in network. So then I'll just have to, you know, have to figure out, um, I'm not really willing to sacrifice on what type of therapist I'm looking for. I'm, I'm just not. Um, I really want what I want. So, yeah, the other place got back to me and they're saying that they're charging about 140 for my annual income. It's, you know, just based on your um, income. So for me, it'd be like 140 a session. Mm. How often do you go? Once a week? I think I need to go like twice a week at this point. <laughs> No, once a week should be fine, but I'm not trying to pay $150 a week. I, I don't know. I ain't. Mm -mm. So I'd rather find somebody that's in my network. So hopefully it'll be nothing or um, very inexpensive. I also have state Medicaid insurance, but excuse me, I feel like with that, you don't get the best quality of a counselor. So I don't know if I'm going that route either. But yeah, I'm still working on it. So as far as how I'm feeling today, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. I feel like, you know, yesterday was rough. So I didn't tell y'all though. So today I'm fine, but yesterday was an interesting day. And anybody who's dealt with, um, a person that shows narcissistic traits or if that is a diagnosed narcissist, which you hardly ever get a diagnosed narcissist because they don't ever want to go to counseling and therapy because they don't want to, they know that they're, you know, messed up. They don't want nobody to tell them. So but anyway, if, you, if you're if you dealing with a, a narcissist that has been diagnosed or a person that shows narcissistic traits, um, you know that they play a lot of mental games with you. And so yesterday was interesting. Like, I started to kind of blame myself. Like, well, maybe it was something I did. You know, maybe I could have did this better. Or maybe I could have did that better. And it was taking a toll on me because my because I know, of course, there's always room for accountability. So there's always situations where I could have done things differently, of course. However, when you're dealing with somebody that has this characteristic disorder or whatever it is, that don't even matter. You could literally be perfect because there were times when I literally attempted to just do everything and I still got that person that, that just that those narcissistic tendencies. And if you know, you know, and a lot of us know because a lot of us are dealing with it and it's crazy. But, um, so yeah, that was that yesterday. It was just like, dang, like I had to shake that off. Like I had to shake it off. Cause I'm like, nah, girl, it ain't 
no, you're not perfect. Of course, you always have room for improvement. However, there was nothing that you could have done to help him be a better person. So whatever you did, it didn't matter. Like, because what they do is they play these games where they gaslight you, obviously, in the beginning. And they make you feel like, you know, you're everything to them. And then they slowly start to take that away. Or they do all these great, wonderful things, and then they slowly start to take them away. And then they become mean. They get that one day they're mean, the next day they're nice. And so what you hold on to is what happened in the beginning when all these things were, you buying all these gifts, taking you all these places, telling you all these great things. And you hold on to that. So when that mean person is there, you forgive them quickly because you're like, oh, great, we'll go back to how it used to be when it was good. Like I said, if you know, you know. Like if you... I'm, if you're watching this and you're dealing with something like this, I pray that you have the strength to leave sooner rather than later. Because the longer you stay, the harder it is. And I am too strong of a person to be dealing with somebody who has a mental disorder that they're not willing to go get help for. I can't. I'm too strong for that. I know I deserve better than this. And it ain't no bad blood, ain't no hard feelings. I still love him. I will always love him. But we just cannot be in a relationship. We just cannot be married. We cannot be friends. We can't do nothing. Right now, we can't even co-parents. Not right now. Because I have to heal myself. I just, I got to get myself better. And I got to get him out of my energy. Feel as quick as possible. So yeah, if you're dealing with something like this and you've been thinking about leaving, just leave. If It's never going to get better. The thing is, they're never going to change. Listen to me when I tell you, if you are dealing with a person that shows these tendencies, they are not going to change. Emotional abuse and mental abuse is real. We always talk about physical abuse, but mental and emotional abuse is just as bad, if not worse, because they stay with you. That stay with you forever. Those bruises gonna heal. Them black eyes gonna heal. Them scratches they gonna heal. But that emotional and mental abuse is crazy. Leave. Even if you have to be single, it's okay. It's okay to be single. Go out with your family. Go out with your friends. If you have kids, spend time with your kids. Work. Work out. Do something else to occupy your time. Go on a vacation. Like, just pour into yourself. Do things for yourself. Like, I'm not trying to preach to y'all because I'm still in it. But I have known for a while that this was not the situation for me. I'm just now putting it on the internet and telling y'all because I'm at the end of it. And I, I told myself I wouldn't come to the internet with it until I knew that I was completely done. And so, anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. Eight minutes is good for me. This is just an update for today. I will see y'all tomorrow with another update. Um, love and light to everybody. If you're struggling with whatever it is, you know, I'm, I'm praying for you. Um, whoever you are, if you see this, just know I'm sending my prayers your way. Um, and I pray that things continue to be good for those that things are good. And if they're not good, I pray that they get better. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are turned on. Can you like this video for me? And I'll see y'all tomorrow.